Good Tuesday morning, my friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on this beautiful Tuesday morning. The sky is blue. The temperature is low, but it is a gorgeous day outside, and I think it's going to be a great day to serve the Lord. Of course, every day is a great day to serve the Lord. But we're in Colossians chapter 3, very first part of that. And yesterday we were talking about how uh, Paul tells us that since we were raised with Christ, that old life is gone. It, it's dead. It was nailed to the cross with Christ, and we were raised to that newness of life in Christ Jesus when we placed our faith and trust in him. And he says, since that is a fact, we are to live our lives with our minds focused on things above, where Christ is seated. Remember why I said he was seated? Because he's done everything necessary to provide for our salvation. His work as a high priest is done, except for this. The Bible tells us he is seated at the right hand of God the Father, where he makes intercession for you and to me. He's constantly praying for us. <laughs> and I imagine that a lot of times he looks at the Father and he says, well, uh, Ben Hayes is at it again, but he's one of mine. Just uh, take care of him. And uh, God listens to his son as he, as he prays for us. And he does the same thing for you as well. But as we look at this, I want you to see something. Verse 2, Paul says, set your mind on things above not on things on the earth. You know, you've heard the old saying uh, that uh, a person is too heavenly minded to be any earthly good. I got to tell you, I've never known anybody like that. Not in my lifetime. Uh, too many people are, are too earthly minded to be any heavenly good. See a lot of that. But very seldom do you find a person who is so focused on the things above that they fail to live their life on this earth. But what Paul is trying to tell us is you don't have to pick between the two. You set your mind on things above, and then you live the life that God has given you to live here on this earth. We are his children, and the reason he leaves us here after we get saved is so that we can continue to serve and honor him and bring others into that relationship. So we're to set our mind on things above, not on the things of the earth. Our mind should be on heavenly things, not on material things. Our, our goal should be spiritual, not physical. And we've got to keep that in our hearts and minds. But this is why. Paul gives us the reason in verse 3. He says, For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. The old man, dead, gone. The person you used to be. He has been taken care of. Uh, of course, he still you know, rears his ugly head at times. But our goal is to focus on the things above so that we can understand what it means that our life is hidden with Christ in God. Now, the Bible tells us all the time, several times in the New Testament, that when we trust Jesus as Lord and Savior, we are in him, in Christ, in God. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that when people look at us, they should see Jesus. It means when the Father looks at us, he sees Jesus because we are in Christ. He covers us. He's our source of security. He's our source of provision. He's our source of, of everything in this life because we are in him, inside of him. And Paul says that our life is hidden with Christ in God. And that means that we ought to be living our life for the glory of the Father, doing the things that God has called us to do. Our motivations uh, for, for doing what we do should be in Christ. Our seeking in this life is because of our union with Christ. Our goals in this life because of our union with Christ. Truth is, everything that is alien to Christ ought to be alien to us because we are in him. And this spiritual union that, that we talk about when you trust in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life means that you are becoming, you're growing more and more to be like Christ. Now, look at what he says in verse 4. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Now, this is a powerful verse, and we'll, we won't get all through all of it today. But I want you to understand something. Paul is sure Christ is coming back. He is going to return. And when he returns, those of us who are in Christ are going to experience something very special, very powerful. And, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. But today, I want you to focus on the things that are above, not the things that are on the earth. The fact that you are hidden in Christ 
and what that means to your life. I hope you have a great day today. Be blessed, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.